Brawl Thought just dropped, and I'm gonna go over everything that you need to know in this update fast. We have a voodoo mistress and a pile of clothes, but most importantly, from November 7th to December 5th, an ancient evil will be unleashed upon Star Park, unfolding in a battle between the angels and the demons. And with a new event, we'll get rewards, progression, event cosmetics, new abilities, and a new game mode. Let's talk about the abilities. At the start of the day, you get a free star drop when you log in, which decides whether you'll be an angel or a demon for a day. On some days though, you have free will and can choose which side you want to be a part of. After that, you will have access to a total of 12 abilities that are divided into either 6 angelic or 6 demonic abilities. You can unlock these ancient abilities from the Codex of Doom. Unlike other events in the past, every brawler can use every single ability in this event. You can only use these abilities in certain maps with the Angels and Demons modifier though. Unfortunately, the Brawl Talk covers only four of these in detail, but they've teased three more. The four angelic abilities that we know of are Seraphim, Rebirth, Radiant Touch, and Smite. Seraphim allows you to spawn an angelic ally when a teammate is defeated. This ally heals you and your teammates and heals more if the defeated teammate is also an angel. If you've equipped Rebirth, then when an attack defeats you, you become invincible for a second and you also knock back your opponents. But it seems like you also get silenced too. Radiant Touch enables you to create a healing aura when damaging enemies, healing more per angel teammate. Smite allows you to fire beams of light that damage and slow enemies. The three demonic abilities that we know of are Siphon, Conjuring Chaos, and Fury. Siphon allows you to leech an enemy's health, healing you and your demon teammates. With Conjuring Chaos, enemy takedowns spawn an imp that will help you and your teammates face opponents. Fury increases your movement speed when damaging enemies or taking damage from them. For all the other event abilities, I would recommend watching Kairos time since he covers those in depth and it should be out tomorrow. Well, it can't be an event without new game modes. Spirit Wars is a reimagined siege coming to Brawl Stars. In this version, you have a predefined period to collect amulets to summon spirits to do your bidding. The number of spirits you summon are the exact same as the number of amulets you collect in that time period. There are a maximum of 10 spirits that you can summon. These summons have 19,000 HP and at the end of the summoning duration, both team spirits race across the map to the opposing enemy turret. Martio said that the spirits get stronger the longer they battle, but we haven't seen that information in the Brawl Talk just yet. The first team to destroy the other side's turret or the team that has made the most progress before the timer expires wins. Gamers, Trio Showdown is back in Brawl Stars. During the SpongeBob event, it was the single most played game mode in Brawl Stars. This time, you can use your angel or demon abilities in this game mode. There's also something new coming to Brawl Stars called Contest, which seems to be unique to this event. You get a certain amount of tickets, looks to be 10 during these contests that last three days throughout the season. Getting wins in this Angels and Demons modifier based mode racks up points on the leaderboard, and the top players in the world get rewarded with extra angelic and demonic star drops. During the Angels and Demons season in Brawl Stars, between November 7th and December 5th, you can get a plethora of beautiful skins. Angel Larry and Lori are the Brawl Pass skin, illustrating the fight between the light and the darkness. Radiant and Dark Angel Larry and Lori are chroma variations that you can get with the Brawl Pass Plus. So make sure you use code PAN in the Brawl Star shop. This is the first season that also introduces two new sets of hypercharged skins. These, however, will only be available from demonic and angelic star drops. The first one is Demon Mortis and the chroma variations Devilish Mortis and Lambent Mortis. Dark Angel Edgar with the Chroma Variations Light Bearer Edgar and Nightbringer Edgar are the other set of Hypercharged skins. They made an additional quality of life change with the Hypercharged skins. The effect from the Hypercharged skin now lasts until you die, so you can enjoy the skin for more than 6 seconds at a time. If you're feeling particularly demonic, you get 3 amazing skins coming to the game. Demon Otis, Demon Willow, and Demon M's. If you want to play nice, you can get 3 angelic skins. 
skins. Angel Max, which is also a giveaway skin. By the way, I'm going to be giving away 20 Angel Maxes along with my content creator friends on Twitter. The other two skins are Angel Lily and Angel Jean. Two more skins coming back with recolors since they fit the theme of the season are Light Angel Colt, which is a color variation of Dark Angel Colt, and Impy Colette, which is a color variation of Trixie Colette. Personally, I like Light Bear Edgar, but which skins are you going to cop? Juju is the latest mythic artillery brawler set to be released on October 30th and will be available for credits when the Angels and Demons season commences. She is the owner of the oddity shop in Star Park and is a creepy voodoo child who has created pets, each having their own special elemental powers and attributes. Depending on the tile she's standing on, Juju throws out different pets, changing the way her main attack behaves, illustrated by the icon to the side of Juju here. By default, her attack does 1600 damage and takes about 1.5 seconds to reload. If she's standing on grass, she gets increased range to her attack. On Earth, she deals 25% more damage. And on water, the projectiles at land slow the enemies. Since she can control the elements, Juju is also able to walk on water. When Juju uses her super, she drops her summon, Grigri, on the map that chases after enemies and throws needles at them. Grigri has about 7200 HP, but also seems to have a shield, which I think might be a star power. This summon does 1600 damage per needle. Personally, I think Juju is going to be very interesting as a brawler as she has a lot of different capabilities but I'm kind of interested in what you guys think. Shade is the latest epic assassin brawler who will be released on November 29th and be available for credits when the December season starts. More on that later. He's a pile of clothes that suddenly got possessed. He'll be running out the Ghost Station trio along with Chuck and Shade's great buddy Gus. As ghosts do, he can also float across the map and also water. That's two for two the season where brawlers can walk over water. Shade's main attack has him smashing enemies in a cone pattern from the outside in inwards for 1600 damage. If the target is in the middle of the cone, they take a whopping 3200 damage because of the two hits. It also illustrates this by showing you the damage color being different along with the exclamation mark. This attack can also go through walls and can be used to hit targets hiding behind a wall. It also has a very fast reload speed of just under a second. With his super, Shade dashes two tiles in the direction that the button is held. This super though doesn't do any damage whatsoever, but it allows Shade to move through the walls on the map. There seems to be a small movement speed increase after you use your super, though I'm not sure how long that lasts for or if it's a star power. I'll go over both Shade and Juju in a future sneak peek video, so make sure you subscribe. Hyper. Charge! We get six new hyper charges in this update in Brawl Stars. 8-Bit's turret now becomes like Jesse's turret Shocky and shoots lasers at nearby enemies. Otis's super now stuns the enemy along with silencing it. Rough super does more damage on impact when it falls and it also charges up the hyper charge of any teammate that collects the power up. Daryl strays bullets around him when he rolls and it looks like his recoiling rotator gadget except it shoots more than once during his roll. And with Daryl's recent rework, that's a lot of bullets. Penny's cannon now fires two cannonballs instead of one. I mean, she was always pretty annoying, but now she's gonna be horrible to face. Stu has infinite supers for the duration of his hypercharge, which is basically the Godzilla event ability. Honestly, I think this is the worst one. I can't wait for the Daryl one, but which one do you guys want? We return to Startoon Studio for the December season starting on the 5th of the month till January 2nd. Bizarre Maisie is a highlight skin inspired by Jojo's Bizarre Adventure and she comes with two chroma variations, Requiem Maisie and Platinum Maisie with a Brawl Pass Plus. So make sure you use code PAN in the shop or I'm gonna start platinum y'all. Moving on, inspired by Eric Cartman from South Park, we get Rude Lou. Paper Cordelius is reminiscent of Paper Mario or Toon Spike? Not sure. BLS Ash is a nod to be Mo from Adventure Time. And Sugar Plum Rosa seems to be a Princess Bubblegum reference, but I'm not 100% certain about that, so do let me know if I'm wrong on any of these. I'm really excited for the Maisie skin and also for Rude Lou since I am a huge South Park fan, but what are you guys looking forward to? There are nine more skins coming to Brawl Stars, but they all seem to be 29 gem skins, so make sure to use bling on these if you really want them since they're relatively cheap. We've got Rusty Otis, High Flyer Lola, Sue Chef Ruffs, Cinema Shade, Unlucky Juju, True Gold and True Silver Kenji, True Gold and True Silver Mo. As it currently stands, the trophy reset and the season reset do not currently coincide at all, but that changes with this update. 
with the first reset tentatively coming on November 7th. Only brawlers above 1,000 trophies will be reset back to 1,000 trophies. It doesn't matter if you push to 1,001 trophies or 5,000 or 25,000 on a single brawler, they all come back down to 1,000. With the old system, your reset trophies were converted into bling, which is not that great of a reward. But now, the accumulated trophies will be counted as season trophies, which will be used to obtain trophy boxes that give out a crazy amount of rewards. These trophy boxes upgrade as you get more season trophies. As you get higher in trophy box levels, your guaranteed rewards increase as well. You go from four guaranteed rewards and a guaranteed rare skin for zero season trophies to 20 guaranteed rewards and a guaranteed epic skin with the chances to drop skins up to hypercharge rarity at 3,000 season trophies and above. There will also be a season trophies leaderboard, which will keep track of the highest season trophies ever collected in Brawl Stars, and the top 1000 players get to flex a badge on their profiles to showcase this. This aims to make it more rewarding for ladder warriors who push a lot of trophies, and it also aims to drastically cut down matchmaking times as well. If you like this video, watch my Brawl Talk reaction video here, and remember to use code PEN in the Brawl Stars shop.